Jiggy what? Jiggy who? On today's episode of Soul Food Kitchen, today we're doing kimchi jjigae. Bora, tell us about kimchi jjigae. Is your Korean mom feeling lazy today? There is 99% chance that you will see kimchi jjigae on your dinner table. There are two versions, one with a pork belly, one with a canned tuna. Anyone can make kimchi stew, but it's not easy to make a good kimchi stew. Back to Trey. Kimchi jjigae! Let's talk about it. All right, so you're probably like, Trey, we're kimchi out. You've made us make daikon kimchi. You had us make cabbage kimchi. What other hell else kimchi I'm gonna make? Kimchi jjigae is something for you to actually make with your kimchi. You're probably like, oh, Trey, I have so much kimchi left over, man. I don't know what to do with it. This was just a side dish. I'm gonna teach you how to make a soup with it. So it's really easy. Let's go over your ingredients. Okay, to save some time, I've already chopped up most of the ingredients and prepped them for you because you guys have been so supportive and watching all our other videos and we are humble and appreciative that you've watched our videos so far. But let's start by prepping our kimchi. So we're gonna just take our kimchi that we made. For you, it'd be a week ago. For me, it was like weeks ago. You wanna make sure you get well fermented kimchi for this one. And you're gonna just cut it into well bite-sized pieces and you want to keep the juice because you're going to use the juice as well. So we're going to start this off by using a pot. You can use any pot you want to, except the kind you smoke. <laughs> you want to use, we're use, going back to our old faithful uh, clay pot. Just put a little sesame oil at the bottom. Then we're going to start by our onions, caramelizing our onions. We're also gonna add our garlic in there too. We're just gonna get it, get some color on it, get it translucent. All right, so keep going in. Then we're gonna take our pork belly and we're gonna brown our pork belly inside it too. Boo yakasha. And we're not going for a deep brown. We just wanna like render some of that fat off it because the pork fat in this dish makes it ridiculous. To here, we're gonna add our kimchi. And our kimchi juices. We're also gonna add our salt and sugar. We're gonna add our red pepper flakes. We're gonna add our gochujang. Just put it on top. Boom, 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 boom. And we're gonna add our anchovy. I use about two cups. Even though I prepared three cups. So use two cups. Mix it up a little bit. Let this come to a boil, then simmer it. And you're gonna do this, you're gonna cook this with the lid on for about 10 to 15 minutes. Moments later. Cool, it's been 10 minutes and let's check on our kimchi jigger what? Jigae who? Nah, nah. Kimchi jigae what? Jigae who? who? Okay, 10 minutes. And we're gonna lower the flame a little bit and we're gonna throw in our tofu right on top. Then we're just gonna garnish. Booyakasha. We're gonna put this on for about two more minutes. And it's done. A few minutes later. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is finished. Look at that. Oh yeah, and if you guys are enjoying my sweet, lovely hats, shout out to Dennis Trills and his Long Beach craft beer thing going on. He's the one that gives me all these dope ass hats. That's it for my kimchi jigga wet, jigga what, jigga who. Please click like, subscribe, and ring the bell. I'll see you in the next episode on Soul Food Kitchen.